Hey there exiles, welcome back to my channel, it's IDD Papi and I hope you all sexy papis and mamas doing great. We're gonna take a look at some news today, a POE news. I'm actually working on my intro so I'm sorry that seems a bit scuffed, I'm, that's not gonna be my intro, I'm gonna redo it. I actually need my intro video back but the old one I had is in Spanish so I'm gonna change, I have to change the lettering in that. Uh, so first of all to know, this is not a guide, this is not... I'm not gonna sell what you have to do or what you can do or what is the mechanic of the league gonna be because we don't know yet. If the we're waiting for the patch notes. And the other thing, I'm not a professional player. I'm not a speed runner. I'm not a, a a racer. I'm not a boss killer or anything. I'm just gonna take a look over uh, over the things that have been released over a couple of days after the announcement of Delirium. Also, I'm working on my English. I'm gonna try to pronounce better and and. And more clear as I as I speak because uh, I think my language is actually I mumble a lot. So if anyone been blaming someone else before for mumbling, you ain't heard shit yet. Okay, then so we're gonna start on the video. Um, it's been a couple of days before the it's been the leak has been announced. Um, so we got nine days to go. Actually, nine days and forty seven minutes. I'm getting more heights. I've been practicing this weekend. I, I had the practice with the with the BV two practice with the BV one with the D BV sucks for leveling. By the way, fuck that leveling. I've been smacked to the ground by bruises. I've been smacked to the ground by uh who was it? Uh, Kitsava slapped me to the ground the first one. Definitely, it was so hard to level in, dude. After you've been playing the meta skills. I'm not even saying uh, summoner like ED, uh, any, any, basically anything range in kills. It's just quality of life. BV just falls so behind. Like I'm really hard to try this new skill uh, out with the, uh, with the blade explosions and, and the blades you leave behind and stuff. I might actually want to try a BV or rather gonna try a, um, a blade uh, rain or whatever it's called. Bladefall, the bladefall. Uh, I might try that skill of that. Probably will be my league starter if uh, if I can find a good way to level in without any uniques and twin gear and stuff like that. Because we're obviously gonna start to have a fresh start. We're gonna have no orbs to grab. We're gonna so we basically going. It I I just it just felt horrible to level BV, BV, BV compared to whatever I was leveling with Witch all the time. So it was Stormbrand or it'll be Ark or it'll be uh, uh, on Archers. It'll be the um, uh, blast rain is it blast rain that just I think my my thing it just cut off. Yeah, my my speakers just cut off. No, my I'll probably cut that part out. Uh, so it's nothing compared to the skills like rain skills, the OP skills we've been leveling with. I don't know, it just so, feels so rippy, and, and unless you work with gear and fall behind at the start, that you don't want to fall behind, you want to get as quick to maps as possible to start farming, to start finding your currencies, to start farming your orb. So I am I think I probably will make a starter an ED, so Essence Drain, Contagion build, Trickster, it's a viable build, I don't think it's going to be nerfed, unless we're going to hear on, on the patch notes day, there's going to be... Sh Damn, damn. Like, I don't know how, how are you going to nerf ED Contagion? What are you going to do? Like, unless they, they nerf it that it actually clears like a, a corner of your screen, I don't know what they can do. Uh, the the, the DJ, the DJ, they can reduce the Degen timing, but I don't think they're going to do that because you'll probably screw up so many other builds with it, with that. So, never mind about what I'm mumbling again. Let's get back to the patch. Let's see what's new. Uh, we go back to this, this page here. And we're gonna look at the so the announcement delirium is here. Blade blast. So this is looks like a new skill, so we're gonna take a look at it. Kill demo blade blast. Path of Excel Delirium and choose a new skeleton. So this is the, this is uh if you haven't seen the the review of the the release of delirium, take a look back at the video before this. I'm not I'm probably gonna skip a lot of this. I'm no I don't wanna make a video that's gonna last like forty minutes or thirty minutes. I said that in the last video and yet again it was a twenty nine video. I'm gonna try the short one, but uh, POE like try try to explain POE in a short way, it's just it's it's like trying to go through the wall with a with a plastic screwdriver. 
You know, it's it's actually impossible. So you need okay. Let me just stop mumbling now. Yeah, so we get this blade blast. So obviously, it's the skills, the new a few skills that have been upgraded. So the skills that usually use the projectiles like blades, like blade vortex, a blade fall, ethereal knives, animated weapon, are reworked. So now when we use them, they obviously leave uh, blades behind, and the blades behind can be de detonated. I'm not sure if this is going to be detonated by a skill, by a, by a button, it just detonates on its own. I think it's probably be a skill. So it will be a new, a new skill or a new. It's not gonna be a support. So it will be a skill. So this is the the skills has been that been reworked with that actually gonna work with blade blast. Casting a blade blast deals damage in medium sized area of your target. Enemies hit. Oh, it actually explains it here. Enemies hit will be unearthed, increasing the spell damage taken. And there any blade so spe spell skills are basically work better with this. If there's any blades from Ethereum, blah blah blah, blade vortex in area, a fake blade blast will detonate those blades as well, creating a chain of reaction. This is actually going to be good. So, so if you remember skills like uh, Herald Device, uh, working with blade vortex and stuff like that, it just creates a big glass explosion that clears the, everything in you. So what people say is basically, if you, before you were clearing like three screens, three three of your screens. You're gonna create like five or six of them now. I hope that's true because that can make it really fun. And I'm, I'm actually want to, to hit level 100 this league, and since the league is based on um, on having monster density that be a lot easier, like Metamorph and the last leagues we had is more based on one mechanic. I'm doing one thing like boss fighting and stuff like this. This is more like uh, the old Delve League, the old Synthesis League, where where the league is based on a monster density. So on top of the maps that we had before, on top of the XP we can get before, we're gonna get like a double XP or even more XP because we got this delirium mode, right? So it'll be a lot if like if you want to hit a level hundred on this game and you haven't hit it yet, this is probably the league you want to try the most. Like if you play it on your own, you don't play player groups and stuff like this. Like I would suggest you try to hit level hundred because it's probably possible if you get the right build. You get a nice sync of what, what you can play, what you can take. It does. It, I mean, you don't have to do awakening, say farming and stuff like this. If you like set set a set up a smaller goals. I mean, it's it with the bills you can get the guides for. It's easier to kill any boss of this game. You can actually do any content in this game, depending how you play. But but when you have like under one k hours in this game, even if you play in the most OP game uh, build of the game at this league. At this current time, it doesn't mean you're gonna do all the content. It's it also depends on on the skills that you have in the game, on the how your PC is running. It's just one too many factors. Just consider if you if you're struggling with the end game and like doing what other people do, do what the streamers doing. Just set up a smaller goal. Do maps. Hit a level hundred. Do smaller bosses. Set set up a farm. Uh, I don't know, make most exalted in one league, like set up small goals that you can actually achieve. I suggest you do that, you'll burn out so less, you actually play out, play out for all the league. Also, the, the my first tip of this game is once you stop, uh, stop caring of leveling a character in this game, once you stop uh, like going through the process of 10 acts, getting to maps, start mapping and getting to this point, once it comes, it, it, it has to be automatic. It should not bother you at all. You should just play the game as you want to play, play the build as you want to play. You get it as far as you can get it. It doesn't matter. Like, if you, if you keep chasing something that you will not achieve, like me, because I've been chasing all this uh, boss killing, all this time racing and stuff like that, I just, I just lost will to play. I burn out so fast on this, I, I, I just... Why? Why? It's just, there's so many skill skilled players that put in 18, 20 hours in a game. And I don't think that's the fact we have to complain about. You can't complain about someone that puts more time in the game than you. That's the of everything. To earn money in the real life, to do anything in your life. If you put more time, more effort into that, you will get a better reward than the people that are doing less. Like I cannot see the sense of people complaining like I'm not a streamer. I can't play this this game. 18 hours a day. I can't do the end content, the end game content that streamers do. So what? You want to do it? Put more time in it. It's it's like you can't complain about the game 
uh, game asking you to uh, uh, to like do basically play two hours a day and have an uh, infinite amount of exalts, I mean, infinite amount of bobs to roll the gear, to have energy to roll that gear. Like, I see a lot of people complaining about energy, uh, R RNG, about the look they have of crafting the gear, when, when they don't even spend the 10% of quantity that other people spend to craft the, the insane gear we see in video and compilations and stuff like that. But this is me talking on a game. Like, just play the game how you want to play it. That's the best way to go. This game can give you insane, in, like, insane, I'm not going to say insane, it's literally infinite amount of content that you can do. I cannot see people getting bored with the league. I can see people getting bored with the league when people put in 20, 18, 10, 12, 15 hours a day, every day, or at least 5, 4, or 6 days a week into the game. They can get bored of the game. But people who play two, three hours a day, like me, or, or or even less, they play on weekends with a friend, with the friends. They they can't complain about. They cannot do the same stuff that other people do. And that's that's logic. That's uh, literally having a logic of like, I don't know. Uh, I I sit at home, but I want to get paid the same amount of money as the guy that busts in his ass ten hours at I don't know. Uh, post office or whatever it is I, that's that's just i don't understand that from coming from people but that's me complaining anyway so let's get back to this with blast, blade blast demo we are here to talk about the patch anyway and so we, here we get the blade blast so obviously the blades is going to leave behind from these skills listed below is going to make a make them explode they're going to change so this is what we're looking for so this game is actually consisting of having a bigger aoe and the aoe having a down so we want to work on that. I see this skills like something new. It's obviously something that a lot of people are going to try out. I hope it actually works out because it looks cool. Just having a different effect in the game, not using I'm, like my first character was a blade vortex. Uh, was, I think it was level 56 that I've got some maps. I'm not quite sure. I can even look that. Uh, Reroll on Sunday. D tricks the. Let me see. Blade Border. So yeah, this is my first character. This is the first character I've made. That was um, Abyss League. That was my first league. I actually got into the game. I, f I picked up a guide, obviously, of YouTube. And I, I followed the guide. And I, I just pushed as far as I could. It was 81. I was really happy with that. So next league, I pushed more and more and more. You can see the, my, my, my highest level is actually this, 97. I'm quite happy with this because there's so many people that don't have a level 100 with, with like five times more hours spent in this game than me. So here we go. So let's see the the skills that are actually gonna work with Blade Blast. We get Ethereal Knives, we get Blade Vortex, we get Blade Fall, and we get Animated Weapon. Which Animated Weapon I did not know that was gonna work with it, so I'm gonna have to take a look. Obviously, these skills are old, uh, we know how they work. If you're new to PoE, best if you want to just look at the guide that, uh, at the guide that we build it using these skills. They, these are mostly mostly main skills that builds, that builds are made about. EK is a nice build, it used to be a nice build. Blade BV has always been a good build. Blade Vault, I haven't seen a lot of, and Blade Blast, I'm pretty sure I haven't heard that. I haven't seen a single build with it. But Bladefall, I'm pretty sure I've heard of uh, built build around this skill. So we will leave one blade per volley. Resulting six blades per cast. Six blades are placed relatively central in the volley. So with concentrated effect, you can place them close enough to create a lot of overlapping blade blast. So this is that this is why I like that we're gonna, gonna have to work with around the, the the support skills as well on this. As Blade Vortex has respectable single target damage, uh, yeah, but you stand in almost face to face, so sort of stuff. Blade Blast has a different purpose when I say Blade. Blade Blast can detonate blades as they spin around you, and for each Blade Vortex, Blade detonated in sequence. But the area of the Blade Blast is multi multiplied, gaining over the Three times the area of the ten blades destroyed. 
The useless blade blast covered a ledge area around you in a burst of damage that can clear out a danger group of monsters you deliver. Okay, so I'm supposing a vile blade vortex is gonna be a fucking insane boss killer? Because you were just gonna overlap so much damage in a small area with a concentrated effect. That is actually insane. I'm not actually keen on seeing this that the that the blades that explode is around you. Actually something in my head is spinning on making a cast on creed blade vortex, but to, but the blade vortex to cast you have to stop so you cannot So you cannot actually cast while you're running. That's an ass. That puts me back. That doesn't want to make me play Blade Vortex at all now. Because you kind of like cast, 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 explode, cast, explode, cast, cast, explode, cast, cast. So you actually be like from group to group. And when you like hit this this uh, big, big ass stack uh, group of mobs, you basically detonate it and, uh, and it overlaps. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I like that. Still sounds slow as hell. EK. EK nice. I'm actually reading this from bottom to the top. I'm weirdo, okay? I'm sorry. EK has received some visual improvements while also allowing a what visual improvements? While also allowing one of every three knives to remain a small blade in the ground. A blade in the ground will do nothing and fade away after the duration, but these blades can be interacted with by other skills. To make the most of EK with blast 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 blade blast using the slow projectile support lets you create a dense field of blades closer to you and adding the leash support will result wait so will result an easy setting up a huge damage buff for taking out bosses. EK? A boss kill? Okay. Using a ring of blade, unique jewel will let you spread out the blades and ring around you, which results in a large circle area of blade blast explosions. Okay. Animated weapon. I'm not gonna play the skills. I think it's a bit too complex for me to. No, actually, for me to play, I just I can't be bothered with it. Uh, also, I die, so that means losing my animated web, my animated guardian. Blades from EK, Blade Water, Blade 4 cannot be animated by any way. Weapon. Making the skill much easier to sustain. Oh. Blades animated this way. Base attack speed create a range similar to a glass shine. But animated weapon adds bonus physical damage to e ethereal blades based on the level of animated weapon skill. On the top of the added damage granted to all weapons by animated weapon. This is also mean that. Okay, my head just like literally went. <laughs> this also means the blades from a lower blade fall can be used by high level animated weapon as effectively as your high level blade, blade falls blades. Fuck, how many blades did you put in this word? In? We rebalance animated weapons to lower the maximum number of blades and lower the time taken to reach full, which also improves server performance. To compensate for the minion count loss, we significantly improved the speed and granted much more added damage. Much more? How much more? This is games of love this time. This skill has a faster cast time, lower mana cost, and grants more attack speed. The skill grants increased minion movement speed as the gem level and the higher minion limit is the gem level. Here's a preview of the mechanics in action. Blightful looks nice. Blightful actually looks nice. PV Excuse me. 
para aquí. You, you lose your blades. So what do you do? You fucking stop and cast them again? You can go unleash. Blayful and animated weapon. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Okay. Next thing. Because I'm over 21 minutes already. This this is gonna be a one long last video. I'm sorry. Play blast. We just saw. Changes to Atlas. I could not care less about this. I just. I just put maps in and fucking run them, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not a, a target farmer, an Atlas target farmer. In a Conqueror of Atlas expansion, we heavily revamped the endgame, adding five new bosses and drastically altering how players explore the Atlas. Today, we'd like to talk about some of the changes that come into the Atlas of Worlds in Path of Exile Delirium. One of the main pieces of feedback we saw the spawn in the Conqueror of two random previously would randomly spawn Shaper and Elder influence on your Atlas. And then we'll be able to deterministically push the influence. I'm probably gonna cut out a lot of this. Because you guys can read yourselves, I'm pretty sure. Uh, here's the current plan. Beginning after you're first able to fight Awakener, you'll need to spawn influence in the region. This, this influence will spawn randomly but with higher chance. Once influence spawns in the region, You'll see the new icon about next to Yathas in the inventory where watchstones can be stored on the left. This bar is segmented to either 5, 7 or 9 sections. The first, middle and last segment in the bar represent maps that contain influence, monster and outcome. In the following screenshot, the first map has been completed with the third and fifth map still to be. Uh huh. Let us use a 5 segment bar as an example. Map 1. You'll be met with an unusual pack of monsters that you will become accustomed to. Map 2. You will not contain any influence monster but will progress the bar. Map 3. Will once again contain influence monster and outcome. Map 4. Will not contain any influence monster will be, but will progress the bar. Map 5. Will once again contain Influence monster and outcomes. Okay. After the fifth map, your bar will be filled and you're able to speak to Kirak and Zana and your hideout to open portals. So you basically have to do five maps to spawn him? Okay. That's it. That's, that's not even an effort, bro. And open portals to the conqueror itself. The upsides of the approach are long unlucky streaks are much less likely to occur and you will know ahead of the time when you are going to get the second and third influence outcome. This being that you will be able to plan ahead and run your best maps to maximize rewards. Ok. Sextons. We are bringing back the sexton vendor recipe. You will once again be able to trade. Ok. So we basically can trade three sextons for one higher level. Ok. We got that. That's an old mechanic too. I'm pretty. How we didn't get this in Metamorph? I didn't even notice it. I don't I think he actually swapped the sections. Never. Who would do that? You just slot them on a lower level map when you have time. Atlas Reshuffle. We are making very similar changes to our Atlas of Path of Exile Delirium League. Sorry. I thought we'll be making a minor adjustment to a few maps here. There will be. They will result in an Atlas map completion being reset on standard league. You will restart your unique map completion. Okay. Complete a higher tier map will complete all maps one tier below the map that you completed. For example, a tier 15 map will complete all maps up to tier 14. Okay. Awakening level and awakening bonus to objective. Awakening level and awakening. Uh, you'll be making a few changes to awakening level bonuses. Your awakening level will be set 
the four watch zones that you have socketed in on your atlas. Hold on. That means that you have four watch zones socketed in four different regions. Yep. That that's what I thought. You'll have a rating level one. It's more or less the same, but it's a lot easier to spawn the conqueror. This should result in player having a weakness level that gradually increases the journey through the atlas, rather than almost all of the levels coming much later. Okay, I like that. One of our goals is to provide more incentive to complete awakening bonus objective. We'll take in a few steps to achieve this. We'll be moving to the X percentage and increase the effect to modify of non-unique maps. Bonus from awakening level bonus to awakening bonus. Objective. This will result in a sword after sword. How do you fucking pronounce that? So, uh, so, so, softer, softer, softer. Bonus still being available, but having a different means. The acquisition of acquisition. Otherwise, of all the wait, wait, I'm lost. Of all the bonus that awakening levels grant remain as it is. Secondly, you'll be able to increase your chance of getting an Atlas mission on completing the map by completing a Awakening Bonus objective. We will be reducing the base chance of receiving an Atlas mission chance slightly, but the net result is that with 75 Awakening Bonus objective completed, you'll be back to 40% chance with 150% Awakening Bonus objective completed. You'll have a 45% chance to receive an Atlas mission. We we'll also be removing the percent, the X percent in chance of two maps to drop on one. Come on, buy map sustain, I guess. I'm pretty sure you're gonna fuck that number up. I'm, I don't know how, but rest in peace, map sustain. Holy shit. We'll be also removing any chance of maps to drop one tier higher. Bonus it from. Uh, come on. Summary. Awakening level bonus. <laughs> Awakening level bonus will give everything that they gave before, except for increased effect on modifier of non unique map. No. And I also don't drop one map higher. You remove the percentage, you remove the chance completely. You not lowered it, you completely removed it. Awakening level bonus will give you blah blah. Bonus objective bonuses are unchanged. Bonus objective bonuses. Wait, that don't make any sense then. Am I Pipega? Like. And like I said at the start of the video, this is not a guy. If I'm missing someone out, can you please tell me in the comments below because I'm actually Pepega. We'll also be removing the the percentage chance for maps to drop one high one tier higher. Bonus from awakening bonus objectives. Bonus objective and bonuses are unchanged. Am I Pepega? Am I actually not understanding something? Awakening bonus objective will now give. I'm really lost. Increased effect on modifiers on non unique maps up to 24 previously available. Increased chance of receiving an Atlas mission 10% total in addition to the base chance of 35. Okay. Okay, bro. Uh, kinetic ball, spell slinger, spell slinger, slinger, slinger. Okay, along the path, along the path of exile delirium, we'll introduce in two new one skills, skill gems. With some associated one changes. Today we are going to look at the kinetic ball, spell slinger, and change it to one slinger notable. E B. KB is a new level 1 1 skill. Kinetic Bolt, Kinetic Blast. Okay. It's fire the projectile a short distance before falcon. Splitting into primary projectile and a limited range secondary projectile. Each angling of 40 
55 degrees from direction the skill was aimed and then starts doing this at the regular intervals of the hits and the enemies forking 5 times the gel level 1 that's a lot of fork at level 1 creating an angular spread of projectile over a wide area increases end reduction so spell damage also applies to kinetic block bolt attack damage at 150% of their value opening up a new build path and item choice right from the when you get the skill and taking advantage of increasing spell damage on your wand you're still gonna roll plus one on the wand the skill has unique inter interactions with a number of projectile modifiers either a projectile fork causes the skill to fork an additional time add an additional projectile causes the secondary projectile to fire there's many to fire this many additional projectiles each time they're created by the fork with a barrage support each shot fire still performs all fork results in, in both high single target damage and extra side projectiles that actually sounds cool hmm spellslinger spellslinger is a new skill support that supports link spells Activating the skill causes all of these spells to reserve mana. And when you perform a wand attack, all of your skills are triggered. Wait, what? They have a 0.5% second cooldown and gain cooldown recovery speed and gem grounds level so you don't need to push your attack speed too high to get the most out of the support. Spell Slinger also provides a unique effect to support the spells. You won, you won one base damage is added to damage and spells. Base damage include all local added and increased damage modifiers, making attack ones powerful when you focus the spell thing. So it's basically like a custom crit for for like uh, for the old KB. And there was another skill so I can't remember now. It was a physical uh, like a like a one attack skill. Uh, you can have multiple skills res reserved with spells and letting you perform combos like Trigger and Frostball and Ice Nova together. There's a great mode out there. Or Bladefall and Blade Blast. Okay. But you support, uh, like. You have no mana, bro. You have no mana. I, I would as well throw you up so badly, dude. Uh, where was I? You could also use Spellslinger to activate secondary skills like Curses, Wave of Conviction, or Lightning Bolt. One skill balance. That's not all. Power Siphon and Kinetic Blast. That's it. Power Siphon. Now deal higher proportion of base damage at lower levels. Growing the slightly more damage at higher levels then greatly improves leveling with ones. We were also adjusted damage of a couple unique ones that were below in the damage curve of the unique items around the level, making them better tools for leveling and early mapping. Okay. One slinger. Notable change. One passive skills <laughs> were recently re re reviewed. So not many changes have been made here. Yeah, is that because they were always OP? OP. They are always playable. They are sustainable and they are good. You cannot make more, you don't have to make changes to one. Um, combination be made. You have made a major change to one slinger, granting a new effect that was previously only found on the on the crown of eye unique item. So that, 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 that's that weird more, is it? Oh, that. Okay, that's cool. 
This means that if you use a one skill out of the kinetic ball, but you already invested in spell damage to take advantage of the, its special spell damage interaction, the one slinger has you covered. It also opens a new build possibility for classic one skills. Do you really want Oki B back? Do you? Uh, close spaces, a lot of bounces. Holy shit. <clears throat> Check out the preview of, the, of these changes in action. Let's see. I like an edit ball. That looks cool. <coughs> Good me. That's a speedy boy. I'm impressed. They actually put a build that said that looks speedy. It doesn't look AIDS at all. GTG, you're doing your homework. You're listening to your streamers in your community. Like, usually you get these motherfucking clips the guy killing one, two, three monster a, a, a minute. That was actually a speedy guy. I like that. Cool. Let's keep going. 40 minutes in already. So we get a teaser now. Oh no. This is gonna be a lot. This is gonna be I might have to release two parts of this. Let me do it. I'm actually gonna make two parts of this. Let's just speed up. Sometimes the vicious skewering is called for. This is spoilers. You don't wanna see it? Turn the video off now. I'll give you three seconds. One, two, three. Can I make this bigger? Uh, no, I didn't want to make that. I didn't want to do that. I can't remember how to fucking. No? That's it. Did I do anything? No. Uh, okay. Sometimes a vicious cover is called for. Oh, so this is the new, the new gems. That's cool, but they are on axes and attacks. I'm not going to make a melee build. So. That's quite cool. In Path of Exile, we had an attached to a menagerie. I've seen that. That's actually cool. Thank you. Makes it more comfy. This is quality of life. Thank you. The Cheetah Divination card. Only a little bit left, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to make a fucking hour video. Holy crap. Level 6. Ah, oh, I've seen this. That's actually badass. Corrupted 20? Level 6? That's badass. 3 of 3? I wonder how, how rare they are. I wonder how actually rare they are. A low tolerance for poison. Oh no. Imperial in hope, medium close jewel. Add six passive skills. Add a small fear, charge damage over time multiplier. I might be starting with the ED. Plus four child resistance, plus to fire resistance, plus to six maximum life. Oh, it's, oh, it's maximum. One other passive skill, no tolerance. No tolerance. Plus eight damage over time. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of pluses to damage over time. For poisons, poison you inflict on non-poison enemies deal three. Hundred increased damage. That's badass. That is actually badass. Poison, poison, poison stacks? ED might be really, really viable again. 
I'm not surprised, nothing wrong with the skill. Got to go fasting. That so, sounds so wrong, by the way. Adds 5 passive skill tree. Adds 5 passive skill, sorry. Add the small passive skill, grants 10 increased life recovery from flask. From flask. While you're under no flask effect. 20, 20 increased movement speed while you're not under the flask effect? That's zoom. That's cool. Like if you flask are instant. Not many builds use the instant flask. Increased life recovery from flask, increased my recovery from flask. That's cool. I like this. This is actually nice. I guess bowers can like go really fast now, right? I, I could not use this at all. I'm literally flasking everything. My flasks are never down. Like like to the point you'll see me one, two, three, four, five. Like I cannot like, like let me if I can show you here. Like I, when I'm playing my flask go like Like I'm not actually spamming but like five four three one. Like my I'm spamming my life and my my five and four that's actually ruining and usually evading. Like five four two, five four two, five four two, five four two one, five four it's insane. My plus are never down and it's, this is the probably best thing about like like about the game. It's actually so flash dependent, it's insane. It's very, very, very flash dependent. This man's all things eventually. Uber little the fragments. Okay, that is actually cool. People can farm that if you can target farm, but you cannot. This is what I've heard. So yeah. Okay. It's great. Look great. Get to know the secrets of suffering. Oh, oh, you've been sarcastic now. B O E. Suffering. Cannot ignite seal, freeze or shock. Critical strike inflicts scorch, brittle, and sh shapped. Sapped. Sapped. Okay. That's. I guess that's for melee. Right? A hunter seeking prey. That, that phrase sounds so familiar to me. Console of the cats. Farul item. Okay. Check out the touch of cruelty, notable passive. No. Wait. Oh, it's a gem. I was gonna say, why is a chaos damage on the left hand side of the tree? There was never. Wait, what? Hold on. There is no chaos damage. Chaos damage, right? Minion? Nope. No child's average. Hmm. But. My question is this this can be socketed on any. It has to be socketed on outside ones. This has to be here on the left hand side because I don't think you travel over here with an ED character. Or a bow character. Yeah, no way. Child skill have some child to hinder enemies, so you basically don't need to hinder anymore on the on the jewels or you you saving you saving spots here for other mods. Be thirty percent reduced movement speed. Enemies injured by you taking increased child damage. Pog, that's nice. That's always a, that was always in right. Increased child damage. Child skill have ten percent chance to hinder and hit. But, but, Blah 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 blah. That's that's nice. I like that. Actually, actually, be really grateful for me. I'm just wondering if you can socket this on other uh, uh, any other socket on out region of the tree, so you can get these bonuses. Um, Path of Exile: The Dream of Truth is a free feature that randomizes your portals. That is nice. That is actually nice. 
Um. No fucking way. You can set different portals? I'm a portal freak. I love portals. No fucking way. I like that! That's a feature for me, dude. That's that's just a feature for me. Thank you, GGG. I love you, portals. I love portals. I'm a portal freak. Mmm, that's nice. I control my portals now. I like that. Thank you. That's actually Paul. Um, here's another new notable overshot. Increased lightning damage. Shotgun be increased damage by up to. Maximum of 60%, very increased effect of shock, increased lightning damage. Um, so we could have fingers that warp is actually gonna get good this league, so that would be great. So now try like a, a shock warp instead of doing like uh, you still go on Herald of Ice explosion, but but what about Impulsa? What about Impulsa? Hmm. Ah, that should be a great build. The crowd will not suppose adds a buff to you and to your Warcry. I never used a Warcry build ever. Like, ever. Until 1500 hours in playing this game. I'm pretty sure there's people that make insane builds with Warcry, but I've never used one. So I basically don't give a slight fuck about it. There are many close jewels to reveal. Here's one. Oh yeah, hey, great. There's 280 jewels, bro. Notable medium close to jewel. Adds 5 passive skills. Add small passive skill grants 10% increased damage while affected by H. Herald. Anyhow? Self-fulfilling prophecy. Crit chance for hell skills. Crit strike multiplier. You deal with critical. The heralds. Okay, uh, from above the skill that I've just revealed about this one, I always use heralds on my build. Always, unless it's a malevolence, whatever hours you want to use in the build, but I've always used a herald of any build that I've played. So that's a nice damage boost for me. And that's about it. I think this is actually it. Yep. So we got an hour video. I'm just gonna say bye to everyone. If you actually stayed to the, what, the full video, thank you so much. Remember that you can, uh, you can, if you have any questions or you have any suggestions that you help me with anything, you can catch me on Twitch every day, mostly every day. I'll take one day off a week. I'm trying to figure out which day would it be, but I don't take any days off. So it's um, 8 p.m. UTC, so Universal Time Zone, European Normal Time Zone, and plus one. So it's 8 p.m. It's 9 p.m. for me. I usually try to start at 8, but most of the time I start at 9. Uh, so you want to catch me? Just catch me there. I'll leave, I'll leave the link in below. I also leave the links to the to the threads in the um, in the description as well. Like the video, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want more of me. Twitch every day, 8 p.m. UTC. So have fun, guys. I'm actually hyping for the for the next league now. In the last video I released, I was so tired. I'm actually tired now, but I'm getting more hyper. It's like nine days left. We're gonna go ham. I'm actually gonna start, like I said, ED and probably go working towards um, towards uh, Blade Vortex. We're all on. Blade Vortex seems a bit clunky from the video I just saw now. So Blade Fall is probably be my choice with the new explosion, Blade Explosion stuff. And yeah, 
I'm gonna try finding all that the game again at the league start. So I hope you all enjoyed, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. I hope it's gonna be a short video next time. I'm sorry, this is a a very long video. I'm not gonna say anymore. Peace.